Patty. Many of us have been to Tad Gormley Stadium for some kind of sporting event or at least passed it in City Park. But who is Tad Gormley? In this week's You Ought to Know segment, we head over to City Park to find out. We all know of Tad Gormley Stadium in City Park, but who is Tad Gormley? I'm born and raised in New Orleans and I've been working in City Park for 10 years. I don't know if I should admit this, but I didn't really know exactly that much about Tad. Cassie Duplachain is the Chief Development Officer for City Park, and she did some research for us to help tell Tad Gormley's story. So let's start with his name. Tad Gormley. His name was Francis Frank Thomas Tad Gormley. So he was a man of many names. Gormley was born in Massachusetts in 1884 and came to New Orleans in 1907. He came uh, to New Orleans to coach the Young Men's Gymnastic Club, which is now the New Orleans Athletic Club. In 1914, he became the track coach at Tulane University. He also ended up coaching at LSU and Loyola. Now, track was his passion, but he coached basketball, wrestling, and boxing as well, and trained several athletes who won the Olympics. He actually was the assistant coach for the 1932 uh, track Olympic team. In 1938, Tad Gormley moved into the position that would seal his legacy. He became the athletic director here at the stadium. Now, back then, it was called City Park Stadium. It opened in 1937 under the Works Progress Administration, and Gormley would hold informal weekly track meets. Being able to teach and educate uh, youth on, on being healthy and well and, and staying active was really important to him as well. After 30 years of training, Training and supporting athletes, Gormley passed away in 1965. He was so beloved that the stadium was renamed in his honor just 14 days after his death. And almost Tad Gormley was in almost every Hall of Fame that you could think of. The National Athletic Trainers Association Hall of Fame, the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame, the Greater New Orleans Sports Hall of Fame, and the Louisiana Athletic Trainers Hall of Fame. And Leslie? I didn't know who he was. Me either. You know, I've covered so many high school football games there. Yeah. And I never really even thought about it. That's what the folks at City Park yeah. said. They were like, honestly, I hope this doesn't make us look They're bad. Like, and Let's I said, do some research. No, no, no. I said, that's the point of the series. Often when I do these, I show up to the place and realize that the people who run it have never really thought about what the name on the yeah. building represents. Huh. Very cool story. So, yeah, very cool. Ran Coach City Park Stadium for 30 years. Amazing. Coached Olympians wow. and was just so into athletics, he'd hold these informal track meetings on the weekends. And so people would just come out. He was all about health and fitness and getting the community involved. Yeah, and it's perfect that that's in City Park because that's yes. what that embodies today, too. So next time yeah. you go to Tad Gormley Stadium, now you know.